Hi, welcome to this short, really short tutorial actually today. All I wanted to do was um, just quickly point out how you can generate a border around an iframe. Now, uh, you know, theoretically, if you know a bit about CSS and stuff, it's not going to be difficult for you to do. But a uh, nice simple method. Seems to work pretty well across um, most browsers. I've tried it on... Um, Tried it on a, an iPhone and an iPad and uh, across IE and um, Firefox and it seems to work okay. So what I'm talking about is this type of thing. I'm just going to go to my website, which is actually a WordPress based site, uh, as many, many sites are now. There's no major secret in that. You can you can just take a look at the code to see that. Uh, so let's say we've got a video. Now I like to have, as I have on my main home page I'll just open that up again see around my main home page I have this sort of very sort of slight gray border I think that's um sort of uh, uh, CCC border there around around the edge of six pixels I, I like the look of that it sort of suits the site and I made it you know like that and once I wanted to have the same thing as a theme throughout the rest of the site so here on this embedded video I have the same six pixel border. So how's that done? I'm just going to uh, quickly log in to the uh, administration uh, side of it. And uh, I'll show you how that's done. So if we just do a uh, new post and uh, just do some title. Now, the actual width that I use the, for my content takes and has to take into account, remember, that the border's there. So whatever width your video is, you have to add six on either side and six at the top and bottom. So it becomes an 12 extra. So my videos are, are put in at 640 by 360. Um, I do that specifically. It's a sort of optimum, one of the optimum frame sizes for, uh, for flash video. It kind of I think it's divisible by eight or something like that, so it's supposedly better. Uh, so, but the actual width of the site that uh, has to be six fifty two because it has to include the tw the uh, twelve pixels for the border. So, you're probably used to uh, code something like this. You could stick this code in, and that would be kind of an iframe embed from. Um, in this particular case, it's from our video host, but uh, the, the one from Vimeo or uh, or from YouTube is something similar to this. So all you need to do straight after the iframe tag is insert a style. Uh, so it's uh, in line, you know, a style for this particular tag. And if you put a tag, um, sorry, if you put a CSS style in with a tag at this level, it essentially at least to my knowledge of CSS, essentially overrides anything else. It is absolute has absolute priority over anything else. So regardless of what other style sheets and, and the sort of uh, uh, the hierarchy of those other style sheets determine and say, this will override and it will be included. So we just need to add this in here. Style border, six, six pixel border, Solid border, that's, that's the type you can have like dashed and dotted and various things like that. Solid border, and that's the color there, CCC, CCC, it's a hex color. Um, and uh, if we preview that, we have a video embedded with the iframe. And, and you'll see, there you go, you can see here the, the height, of, uh, the height is uh, 360 and the width um, of the video is uh, is 640 and there it is it's down here so the width of the video is 640 but uh, the actual width of that uh that this is actually in if we just take a look at take a look at that particular one this 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 whole thing here it's a little bit a little bit big that let's just move this down but if we just do a quick this there you go that highlighted thing there the width of this is uh, 652, so don't forget that when you uh, when you design your um, site. So yeah, it's really easy. Put in a style for the border, in with the iframe, and you get a uh, nice looking border like this around your video or whatever it is you're embedding into your site.